I discovered Parsley recently from uh, a gaming con, and uh, basically Parsley is a role-playing party game that's based off those old text adventure games like 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 Zork. In Parsley, one player takes the the role of the Parser, and uh, he's in charge of uh, describing the location and 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 what items you might find in a location. And meanwhile, the rest of the players. They are all. They all control the single hero um, that's going through this whole adventure. Um, I think Parsley is an excellent introduction to role-playing games for kids. Um, it's uh, not too hard, and it's just just so simple to play. Um, and they get used to the idea of um, going through an adventure and and having one person dictates dictate what happens. I like Parsley because it's like. Dangerous locations and beautiful locations and the, all the other stuff. Um, I like Parsley um, because it's a game that you could make up yourself. I mean, like this game, this Parsley game at, that we're playing right now, my dad actually made it up all by himself, by scratch. No inspi inspire, inspiration. It's cool. What is the skull for, Dad? Why, why, why? What is the skull for? It is not a skull. It is a. It is the Parsley symbol. It looks Did like. Did you draw a, it? It's no, like an no. alien. No, it's oh a, no! It's a person with two eyes. It looks like a skeleton. It's it's a it's it's two peas, you know, one inverted from the other. We got P for parsley. Oh. And it's green, like a vegetable. Oh no! I see a person's face with two square. I eyes. see a skull with headphones. <laughs> yeah. A skull with headphones. <laughs> a person's face. Did you draw all that? No, I didn't draw that. I just downloaded it and I just printed it on a piece of paper. But it's still a pretty cool symbol. Yeah, it's a cool symbol. Yeah, yeah. it's a topic for a discussion. That's right. Mm. What do you see? Mm. Uh, Skull. Like okay. this. <laughs> okay. <gasps> I see a skull. Could be an elephant <laughs> with a trunk. Mm. This is my first game of Parsley. Um, I've seen the kids played it twice with their dad and it's always um, full of fun and um, yeah they just get into all these you know uh, crazy adventures. Okay so let's get this, let's get this adventure started. Um, Alright so in this adventure uh, you're all controlling one person and, um, and, and this person is an elf. This adventure is called the Enchanted Forest Adventure. And I'm going to read the intro. An old wizard lives in a tower in the middle of the Enchanted Forest. He mostly keeps to himself, but some nights ago, at the stroke of midnight, thick, black, toxic smoke has been seen coming out of from his tower, poisoning the air around the whole forest. You are a young elf sent by your village elders to the enchanted forest to stop the smoke coming from the tower. You are in the enchanted forest entrance. No one would enter this dangerous forest unless they really had to. There is a sign here. Okay, read sign. Oh wait, exits first. Exits are east into the forest. Yeah. Read sign. Read sign. The sign, old sign says, danger, evil witch inside, do not enter. There is, you also see an extremely poisonous death mushroom growing at the foot of this sign. Mushroom! Why, why, why do we eat a death mushroom? Like seriously? 
obviously, obviously, always in dad's games is if something's like gonna kill you, it's gonna kill you. It's obvious, but you never know. I mean, like, it it could be useful. I mean, there could be an evil something, and you could like put it in your bag or something. But it's gonna kill you if you eat it. So that was a bad idea. <laughs> You are at a large old tree next to the forest path. You see a hole in the tree just above the road. Mm. Exits are west back out to the forest entrance, north, south, or east. Ooh, I see a hole in the tree. Maybe it can enter. No, no, no. What do you want me to examine. do? Examine. 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 Okay. Examine tree. Oh, before we continue, mm -hmm. it is always a good idea to check what you have. Oh yeah, before. inventory. Well, okay, yeah. maybe inventory. I'll do yeah, the examine inventory. Examine inventory. In, you say inventory, it's fine. No. Okay, inventory. Alright. You are carrying a miracle potion. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the village elders gave you this precious potion which can revive anyone from the brink of death. Ooh. You might need it in this dangerous mm. forest. Take it right now! <laughs> <laughs> you examine the hole in the tree, and you see a pink worm inside the hole. It sees you, and shouts, <laughs> Hey you! Can't you read the sign I put up? Go away, or the evil witch will turn you into a worm too! What? It angrily, it angrily throws a fishbone at you, but you quickly dodge out of the way. How big is the worm? Well, that's about me down. So long. <laughs> Put, take worm okay. and eat it. <laughs> take worm and eat it. Take worm. You look it. into the hole, but the, the worm has burrowed deeper into the tree and is gone. Oh, come on. Then? So did he say a uh, fish bone? Yeah, take a fish. So take fish bone. You never know. We might need it for later. Mm -hmm. Uh. Do we need to examine it? Oh, it's just a fish bone, right? Take fish bone. Take it. Oh, okay. All right. You are at the frozen lake. Jump on it! I skip. This lovely lake. Uh, oh, actually, you see a strange sight. An entire lake has been frozen over. Which is strange, given that it's in the middle of summer, hmm. don't you think? Hmm. Exits are south, back to the old tree. Mm, examine... Wait. It's not your turn, Evan's turn. Walk through the lake. You want to walk through the lake? Yeah. Well, this is a frozen lake, and you're not really equipped to walk through a frozen lake. Examine lake. Mm, hmm. Under the ice of this lake, you see little water fairies trapped <gasps> inside. Uh, use tiny fish bone to try and uh, like chip the um, ice. The fish bone is much too small to be used on the ice. You stand <laughs> at the foot of a tall wizard's tower. I Black, get... toxic smoke pours out from the tower's single chimney. There doesn't seem to be any way to get in. No doors, nothing. Mm. The only opening is a small window at the very top. Exits are west, back to the old tree, <laughs> south, <laughs> east, uh, south or east. South. You are in a sunny meadow. <sighs> you come out into a sunny meadow in the middle of the forest. It is nice to be in the sunlight for a change. Mm -hmm. Exits are north to the wizard's tower. North. <laughs> you stand at the edge of a still forest pond. Mm. There are a number of stepping stones here on the pond leading to the east, further to the east. There is a friendly dogfish here. What? Uh, is a dogfish. Seriously? A dogfish? 
You made a dogfish out there, did you? <laughs> well, maybe you can. Maybe you can take a look at it. Um, examine dogfish. Examine dogfish. I want to see if it talks. Evan, your turn. Examine dogfish. The dogfish. The dogfish pokes his head up, hit its head out of the water, and wags its fishy tail. Bark, bark. Mummy's <laughs> <laughs> dead. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. Take the fish out of bed and put it in our bed. Maybe we can keep it as a pet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the monkey. Take dogfish. Yeah. The dogfish doesn't want to leave the pond. <laughs> oh. Mummy's jo Jojo's head. Oh no, it is a fish bone. He'll choke. No, no, give. Oh, but give, he's a dogfish. Yeah. Give, give. <laughs> grabs the bone and swims to the bottom of the pond to bury it. Aww. Mud and bits of pond muck fly out of the pond along with something large and heavy. Oh. You see a dull falling star rock. Ooh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Turn. Take star rock. Many years ago, your fellow villagers reported that a falling star fell into the forest but it was never found. Mm. This must be it. Mm. The, fall the dull falling star rock is very dull though. No light shining. Perhaps it can be filled with light again. <clears throat> you are at a firebird nest. A large <laughs> nest occupies this clearing. Inside, you see a very red and angry firebird. Exits are uh, west, back to the, the forest pond. He can it set on fire? Ooh, ooh, give the star rock to the firebird thing. The firebird is not interested in the star rock. <laughs> okay. Hmm. The, the, the mother firebird shrieks angrily at you. Oh. <laughs> I think okay, you your Evans there. Punch a no! <laughs> suddenly glows <gasps> and fills up with sunlight. Yeah. Soon it is blazing brightly like the sun. Oh. Your falling star rock is now a glowing falling star rock. Oh, wow. What do we want to do if we go back to the wizard's tower? That we'll, we'll, um, we want to try and go to the oak tree. tree. No, no, we'll go to the oak tree and then we'll try and free those water fairies. Water fairies. By like showing them the... Yeah. So maybe... And the those melt. Melt. Yeah, that's right, that's a good idea! Very good! Um, get out, hold, um, uh, star storing over, hold star rock over the lake, over, over the lake. You hold the star rock over, the falling star, the glowing falling star rock over the lake, um, and it shines brightly, but it isn't hot enough to melt the lake. <laughs> if only we can lure the firebird into the fish, <laughs> into the frozen lake, and, and then but and you it will eat the dog fish. But it will eat the dog fish. <laughs> the dog fish. I don't want to. I don't. Fish is in the fish pond. I don't want to. I don't want. No, the dog I don't want the robot. Pond. I don't want robots to, to oh turn, in, turn into a fried fish. It's not even a pet. It was not our pet. How can you name it Rover? Oh. It's called Rover, Rover the dogfish. And his favorite food is tuna. He is my pet. And I am clear with that. Okay. Alright, so you are at a giant thorn bush. <gasps> 
<laughs> you stand in front of an impenetrable wall of thorns. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be any way through. Okay. Exits are north of the old tree. <laughs> Run through the old <laughs> in the sunlight. Ooh. However, there's not much light here, so it's grown simply enormous. You can't Sh climb over these thorns. Shine the star, yeah? Shine, shine star. star. Shine, shine, shine. I was gonna say, to climb the when, I, the when, I, when there's bush. like thorns everywhere, then, then we could just drink the potion. <laughs> no, no, Evan, I think the potion is very important. We have to keep it to the last very last thing because we'll, we'll need it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get into real big trouble and Do we hear anything almost near over death. I have to keep this miracle potion safe from the kids before they slip it all up like some kind of box juice. Yes. Okay, okay, right, okay. okay. So, so you I... use, uh, use glowing star rock to, to on Tony Bush. Bush? Alright, let's see. The thorny bush shrivels under the brilliant glare of the glowing falling star rock. A path opens up to the south, and you decide to follow it. <laughs> you are in the witch's vegetable garden. Uh -oh. You are in a large vegetable garden. <laughs> there are rows of Lovely vegetables are growing here. To the south, there is the witch's hut. You see a magnificent beanstalk here. Exits are south to the witch's hut, or north to uh, the old tree. Beanstalk. Beanstalk. Climb a beanstalk. No, no, no. Remember what I said. Climb beanstalk. She turns us climb beanstalk. Climb beanstalk. Climb beanstalk. And we can go anywhere. Climb I think well, that would be the end of the mission. This is a fine specimen of the Jackus Beanstalkus. Jackus? <laughs> <laughs> What's the Jackus Beanstalkus? But it's much too small to climb. Um, you find some beans under one of the leaves. Ooh, pick beans. Pick beans. Pick beans? Okay. Pick, you've taken the beans. You hear the clump of footsteps coming <gasps> from around the corner. Uh oh, must be the ginormous Jackus. <laughs> the <laughs> giant? Jackus. Oh, no, no, no. So, what do we do? We, we pick the, the beans. The witch. No, no, no. We climbed up the beans. No, no, you didn't. You, I, I said it's much too small to climb. Oh my You're still gosh. in Run? the vegetable, the, witch, the witch's vegetable garden. Go into the hut. I want to see what happens. Evil witch's hut. Thankfully, she doesn't seem to be home yet. Uh oh. There is a big black cauldron here. What is a cauldron? There's like witch's pots. Mm, that's very good. Like good, a witch good, pot. Good, good. Very good. Mm -hmm. There is a large red firebird's egg here. No wonder. As the exits are north to the witch's vegetable garden. Take firebird egg!
fire flaming dragon and destroy the tower. Okay, she took the egg. She took the egg. Take the egg? Right. Run outside! The firebird egg, egg is large and oh, a very no. angry red. Oh. It is too large to fit into your pocket, oh. but you can roll it along the ground to take it with you. Okay. And you hear the clump of footsteps coming from the black the back door. <gasps> and it's ten. Down. And water the 
pours out. It, and it keeps pouring out endlessly. Oh no. Um, oh, you, pour no. It on the, you pour it on the fire bird, and oh. the fire bird is that now uh, does, is not on fire. Okay. <laughs> pick okay. up fire bird! Pick can, up fire bird! Okay, pick up, pick up fire bird. Okay, let's return the fire yeah, bird. Pick up fire bird. Okay, taken. Alright, so uh -huh. it's in your inventory. So, and no, you just carry it. It's in your backpack. It's in your inventory, yes. Okay. That means oh, your hold is over yeah, here. Oh. <laughs> and now I know it's like a, um, a crazy, a, a, a crazy psycho, um, wet firebird running around the egg. Oh! <laughs> Because there is a raging fire blocking your way. Oh, oh we've got the watering yeah, can! Yeah, the mother firebird is delighted to have her baby ah. back. Aww. It covers its flaming wings over the baby flaming. bird Aww. and coos happily. Aww. A single firebird feather floats to the ground in front of you. Evan, your turn. You are at a. Take firebird feather. Taken. Mm -hmm. We go to the wizard's tower. We can set it on fire. We can, <laughs> and then we can. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you gonna do? You're just gonna destroy the wizard's tower? Yeah, and then the small something away. in the tower. I am curious. And it will get destroyed. Wait, no. I know, Mum. Ask, ask, um. Ask Firebird in Firebird language if she if they <laughs> if they can help us go up to the thing. I will take uh, I will take on board your idea. So I will speak in Firebird language. Basically, in pure Firebird translation, can you please help us fly into the Wizard's Tower? Go. Mm. <laughs> the firebird looks at you amusedly, but doesn't doesn't reply back. Oh, <laughs> come on! Oh. Oh. Okay, go to the frozen lake. Okay. I mean, no, the frozen. Uh, frozen lake. Okay, so they go back to the lake. Oh, the water fairies! Thank you again for freeing them from the terrible uh, frozen spell. Uh, because which was cast on the lake because they stole something from the witch. What did they steal? Ask uh, them what did they steal? No, did didn't you ask that yes, question? Yes, they are. Oh yeah, 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 and 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 yeah. and they basically reply. They say you now have it. Oh, it was the watering can. Oh. Remember the witch grew in front of her house. There were vegetables. Oh, yeah. yeah. Alright, so you guys have the firebird feather now, and the water fairies are really of no help. So, um, yeah, they're, they're, they're not they're too scared to leave their, their lake. But they do tell you that the witch, um, they've seen the witch make magic fertilizer before, which makes things grow really fast. Ooh. Maybe we can go to the witch's cottage to, like, try, try and find... Um, some fertilizer. Mm -hmm. And, um, the cauldron thing. Okay. The cauldron is bubbling with strange things in it. There is a note next to it which reads, Magic fertilizer. Missing ingredient? Fire bird feather. <gasps> oh, we have a fire bird feather! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Okay, um, put fire bird feather in it. Put fire bird Feather in. You, you put in the firebird feather and the cauldron bubbles even more before settling down into a thick brown muck. Yeah. You scoop some of uh, you scoop some of it into an empty bag. You now have magic fertilizer. You hear the clump of footsteps coming in from coming from the back door. Oh, um when she gets in, we get a glowing squirter. Yeah. Falling star rock. Yeah, squirter like the water, water pump thing. Like, like water gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, squirter, squirter, um, drown her and see if she um, melts like in the Wizard of Oz, but if that doesn't happen, we, um, the, the star rock might come handy. So what do we do? 
to stay in the cottage? Mm. Shall we stay in the cottage? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, stay in the cottage? Yeah. Get, get, yeah, get, yeah. <laughs> get water, watering can ready. <laughs> yeah, and then there's like aiming, and, and then like <laughs> The witch uh -oh. turns up and sees you and shrieks, <laughs> Another vegetable thief in my hut! <laughs> and she turns you into a worm. No! South as a witch's hut. Uh -huh. uh, you see a magnificent beanstalk here. Uh -huh. Oh, what are what on um, the beanstalk? You use use watering can. Okay, the water flows and flows and flows from the watering can, and soon the entire garden is a muddy mess. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh, you hide just in time when you hear the the witch coming in, and she shrieks angrily. My garden is ruined. <laughs> That's it! I give up trying to grow veggies in this forest! And she jumps onto her broomstick and flies off. Yes. You have driven off the witch. Yay! <laughs> so, okay, so we have the bean. Let's plant it. Yeah, so we can climb the beanstalk. Yeah. Good idea! Okay, let's plant it. Okay, so you plant the bean. And, and uh, water, oh, water, uh, water it water one more time. Water it. Just in case. Okay, you water it. A bean, you water the bean, and the bean will grow into a magnificent beanstalk in about a hundred years. Uh, okay, quick the hundred years. Wait for a hundred years. Can't wait for a hundred years. I don't think I'm waiting for a hundred years. It's worth it. Well, it. well <laughs> will work. I mean, we're elves, right? We could live that long, but it's not worth it. Yeah. yeah okay, come on, come on. Okay, so on, given your turn, what are you going to do? What? What are you going to do? I'll put fertilizer in more. Okay, the beanstalk starts to grow before your very eyes yes. and grows up along the wall of the yes. tower all the way to the top, to the, to the tower window. You can now climb this beanstalk to the tower window. There's a pot here with blue magic fire under it, and it is bubbling over, and a thick, toxic smoke is pouring out of it, uh, pouring out of the pot into a hole in the ceiling. There is an old wizard here who is lying unconscious on the floor. Um, I got an idea! I got an idea! You've used the magic fertilizer. No, let's use um, let's use the um miracle potion. No, but the um, wizard might be like evil. No, it's okay! It's no. getting hard to breathe in here. <coughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, just do it! Just, okay, do okay, it! Do it. Do it. You feed the miracle potion into the wizard's mouth. Almost instantly, the wizard wakes up, and he mutters a magic word, and the blue fire disappears. Yay! The pot stops bubbling, and the thick black smoke clears away. He thanks you for rescuing him, and apologizes for bungling up his midnight supper. Oh! Oh! Mm. I thought it was an so evil he wizard. Must have, he must have burnt his food. Ooh. He burnt his cooking. But midnight supper. So that's why it's black and okay. poisoning like the forest. Fair enough. Congratulations for successfully completing the Enchanted Forest Adventure. Woo! Your score is 9 out of 10. Oh, so because, good! Because you got killed once. Oh, oh we got turned into a worm. Okay. Yeah. No, that, but that was a getting killed. Uh huh. <laughs> Let's thank Daddy for this adventure. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Daddy. All had a good time? That's awesome. Remember, he did it all by himself by scratch. Yeah, yeah, well done, Daddy. Mm. Well done. Well. Thank you for watching Games We Play. <laughs> so Everybody's a winner.
You are in the turret room. The, this is where all, all the scientists and mission, and mission people go and dis, and protect their um, the factory. There is this is where the satellite you are in the tall building where the satellite is the top of the level and the satellite you, you can see the satellite control pad it is very hard to use you can every, every it is hard to use if you don't know how to use it use satellite dish the satellite dish um you use the satellite dish and the satellite dish electrocutes you. What?